Hey guys, Real McCoy 411. I am back at you for another product review. Rhymes. I could be a rapper. Not. First, I want to start off by saying if you are new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. This is a natural hair journey for Real McCoy 411. Okay? I have been natural a thousand times since I had breast cancer. But I had always let it grow out a little, cut it, relax it. Let it grow out a little, cut it, relax it. So this is my very, very, very first time taking care of natural hair. Okay? Trust and belief. And I had breast cancer in 2010. All my hair came off. And it came back so pretty and I still cut it, relaxed it. Did not know anything about what type of shampoos to get, what products to use, none of that. I used to wear my hair in a ponytail or a baseball cap and go to my stylist and let her relax it for me. And that was it. That was my routine. But now I'm on a natural hair journey. No cutting my hair unless it's trimming my ends. Uh, healthier hair and also for longer natural hair. So those are my goals. If you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get into it. On this video, I have shampooed my hair with something other than Biotene Boost, which you all know that is my favorite shampoo and conditioner because of the thickening and it lathers really, really good. That's Biotene Boost. But today I am trying Hawaiian Silky and this is a hair so soft shampoo. The reason I'm trying it is because, and this is, uh, it has an apple cider vinegar in it. And I thought it would smell like apple cider vinegar and all that stuff, but it doesn't. It has a very pleasant smile. Very pleasant smile. And this here is gentle cleanses while property, with properties of apple cider vinegar. Seals the hair cuticles for a frizz free look. Great for all types of hair. Okay, and this helps um, alpha hydroxy gently exfoliates the scalp and removes product residue. And I am a low porosity girl, so product buildup is something that happens. I use the shampoo. It took me two things to get a good lather because I like a good lather, but I scalp, you know, clean my scalp with my massager. And when I rinsed it out, my hair did feel good. So, let's see what it looked like. Because I haven't seen it since I put it up. Okay. It's not stripped. It is not stripped. It is not stripped. So, that's good. Feels soft, feels clean, and that's what I was going for. Today, we're going to be using the LCO method, which is a leave-in, a cream, and an oil to seal it because, once again, I am low porosity. So, we're going to be using the Elasta QP line, and this is olive oil and mango butter. This is an anti-breakage leave-in conditioner. It's an intensive treatment, Okay intensive treatment and this is 15 ounces i got it for my local hair store it's like 5.99 and this is a big tub so i think i'm gonna get my money's worth out for this i'm gonna be using that as my leave-in for my cream i'm gonna be using the same line curl defining pudding intensive treatment okay and for my oil my natural growth oil, which I found. I have a little warm um, aloe vera oil or aloe, aloe vera juice. I have some warm aloe vera juice. So I'm just gonna dampen, redampen. And I am watching acrimony at the same time I'm doing this. So by opening the leave-in conditioner, you can already see at the top it has some oil in here. It has an olive oil and mango oil. The consistency is thick, smooth. So let's try it in. And I'm really 
focusing in on my ends because I did have a big scare about my hair. But my beautician told me I'm good. Keep nurturing my hair. Everything's going to be fine. That wasn't nothing but the grace of God because I know I ruined it. So it's a really good slip. Slides in your hair real good. Defines your hair real good. You can tell by looking at the sides. And look at that. My curls are already there. So I already know I'm going to like this. But once again, take your time and work in your products. Because I want to make sure every strand gets coated. Oh, yeah. I like it. I think I like it a lot. And we know I'm trying to stay away from gels and hard products right now. Just trying to focus on moisture. Robert, are you finished uh, doing that bag? That's my husband, y'all. He just like crumbling to make the noise. He just won't let y'all know he here. I take my denim brush. And I just comb it through to make sure it's distributed. All the way through. And it is. So. Hey guys, I'm back. I've completed the back. I can say... Even though this product looks thick, it is very light. It's very light. But it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, this is just the leave-in, and my curls are very, very defined. Very defined. And I like that. So I made sure that I gave some extra to my ends. I'm sorry, y'all. Taraj B. Henson was crazy in this movie. I kind of sort of didn't feel sorry for her in this movie because it's like she volunteered everything. You know what I mean? Like right now, she at his cabin right after her mom and dad. And she's wanting to come in and all that stuff and listen to the music. And, and then she's going to turn around and say, who takes advantage of somebody who just buried their mother? That sounds like the other way around to me. But anyway, let's leave in. I got to say, it's the movie Acrimony. It's a very light product. Are you having sex with him? It is not nothing right like there. it feels like. Oh, what I want to know is, who's paying when y'all going out on all these dates? What? Look, Melinda. Don't tell that boy that Mama left you that money in his house. I'm telling you, it's fine. Okay. Working it in. Making the mistake of telling Robert about the house and the three hundred and fifty thousand dollars that my mom left him. But that didn't matter to him, right? He wanted me, right? And that's how the problem is called first class house in here. Okay. And all I do is first class. Clip it up. What are y'all opinions? Have y'all saw Acrimony before? I just think she should have knew better. Working it in. And I just want y'all to see how my how well my curve. Okay. One last piece. 
And I'm not putting much. Working it in with my fingers. And this is just the leave-in, guys. I think it's time for me to use the bigger. Uh, yeah. Use the bigger one. When my hair really needs it. Making sure I get that product on the ends. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the curl defining cream. And while I prepare for that, I want to let you guys know, and I'm setting the products back here on the ones I use. I want you guys to know that these brushes, these denim brushes, they come apart. You have to take them apart so you can clean them, okay? This is, all, this is a rubber, and it slides out. And this one here slides out and opens up. It's bigger, but you have to open these up and clean them. If not, you're going to have all that product. Thinking you just rinsing out that top part, you got to get off in the brush, off in the denim brush, okay? Denim, denim, denim. All right. Curl defining pudding. Move it like a pudding. Shake it like a pudding. All right, let's see what it's going to do. Feels just like a pudding. This is, yeah, a lot of juice came from it. Uh oh. She sees somebody in his, somebody in his cabin, baby. Yeah, so if your hair is medium damp, a little bit damp, you really don't have to add any more moisture. You don't have to. And I said I was going to do space puffs. She cry, cry. She cry, cry for real. Okay. So, let me make sure my oil is on the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up in space puffs. And that's how I'm going to let it dry. I like this product. You don't have to dampen your hair. 
If it's damp a little bit, you don't have to dampen it a lot. This is how I do my space puffs, guys. Yes, I'm short. Whatever. Okay. And then I use the QP Elastiline, the leave-in conditioner, as well as the curl defining pudding. That was my CO. And for my oil, again, Aunt Jackie's Balance Grapeseed and Avocado Oil. Which I will apply my scalp. And there was Rock standing at the altar, smiling. As I walked, walked to a friend. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Take your cigar. No, what? I didn't even put. I didn't put the curl defining cream in the back. It was already curly, so I thought I did it. My mother called away. And with every tick, there was a subtraction sign in the account for something. Something he needed. No, I just did the leave-in in the back. And as the money got low, so did his affection for me. His tolerance. I did not apply my curl refined pudding in the back. It was already curly, so I thought I did it, and this actually was just the leave in. I'll try. I couldn't believe that back was just said try. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I told y'all I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Mess up, keeping it real, keep it straight, doing what I gotta do, boo. It's a journey. So yeah, it even looks fuller now that I did that, that I added that on there. It's such a great thing. Carol Defining Pudding. So, I will see you guys later. Remember to go ahead and subscribe if you're new. And keep God first in everything that you do. And I do mean everything. You all have a blessed day. I will have a picture of the products, you know. And I will have some pictures of me rocking my little two air pro puffs, which is already getting dry. So, my hair is soaking it in. So, all right, y'all have a blessed day.